Well, the, the next uh, guest that we have is uh, a couple of my favorite people in the city of Mesa. Uh, Charlie Gregory uh, from Benedictine University and Sally Harrison with the Mesa Chamber of Commerce. Sally, Charlie, please come forward. <laughs> Uh, if there's anyone who doesn't know Sally, Sally is the president of the Mesa Chamber of Commerce. I think uh, she could sell anything to anybody. Ice Eskimos, fill in the blanks. Uh, she's great at what she does, and we talked a moment or, uh, ago about the great uh, meeting that happened a couple of days ago, or really just last night, to help uh, Mesa businesses that are facing some challenges. And Charlie Gregory, you need to get to know. This gentleman uh, came to us from Benedictine University in Chicago and is now uh, the, the chief administrator of the, the Benedictine facility in Mesa, Arizona. And they both uh, are pillars of our community doing a great job. Tell us why you guys are teaming up and, and what, uh, I think you have an announcement for us uh, concerning your organizations. We do. Uh, about two weeks ago, Charlie and Joe joined me for lunch and um, had an idea and uh, we'd like to announce that starting this fall with fall classes at Benedictine, um, Mesa Chamber will now have a junior chamber of commerce in partnership with Benedictine University. Thank you. We're very proud of that, Mr. Mayor, because we felt like, and in, in Sally and in, in Joe and I were talking on several occasions about this, and. Although a college degree is very important and it gets it opens the door for many students, we think that it's more about building the resume, getting them ready for the next step. A college degree is something that you earn, but it, with it comes a responsibility. But you really can't fulfill the responsibility to the community and to giving back unless you have connections with, oh, with business leaders, with business and industry, with uh, uh, the civic leaders of the community where you get a good feel for what it really is like to lead and be a part of a community. So you have the, the formal training in, in the college degree, but what we're doing with this, thanks to, to Sally's support, what we're doing with this junior chambers, we will be linking our students up with pillars, leaders, community members to teach them the things they can't get in the classroom. So in other words, we're expecting our students to not just receive that degree, but to give something back to the community. They already do that in many cases with our leadership program that Joe Wilson runs, but we're going that next step, thanks to the Chamber and, and Sally's support. We're very excited about this. This is something that's really unusual for many communities to take college students and get them involved in chamber work. But they, then they, when they graduate, they'll have a feel for what it means to that obligation to give back. So there'll be many things that go along with that. All the students in the leadership class will uh, have to participate in 50 hours with the chamber. And that could be at the chamber, at our events, or within uh, some of the businesses that are going to be sponsors. And we've already um, received word back from a handful of our businesses that they want to pro um, be program sponsors with us. So uh, Lohman Company and MAM Exams and Lotus Contracting Services have all stepped up already. Um, to be sponsors of this program, so we're pretty excited about it. We are Great. excited. Yeah. So if, if a young person wants to be a, a member of this program, is the first thing to do to enroll at Benedictine yeah. University? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. That helps tremendously All right. in this program. Uh, well, which is not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, no, it's Benedictine, not. if you haven't heard, uh, I'll brag about Charlie and Benedictine for a little bit. The, the enrollment at Benedictine keeps going up and up and up, and we have a problem at Benedictine, and that is that we have a lot of students. I mean, the growth has just uh, been amazing. Charlie, tell us a little bit about that. Well, we're excited. We started out about three years ago, as you know, Mr. Mayor, with about 72 students. This fall, we're going to have anywhere from around 350, 60 undergraduates to another 150 graduate students. So we're already out of space, quite honestly. Uh, we're registering students now. We're running somewhere in the neighborhood of about 50 to 80 students ahead of last year. We'll set a record enrollment this year. Uh, but uh, we're ex we'll graduate our first class, our first full class that we have with uh, the ones that came about three years ago, who came on hope and dreams and ideas. And, they're, and a lot of our students are good risk students, but they're hardworking students. They're good community students. We have so many students that give back, whether it be, uh, what is it, Friday night on Main, they give back to the, to, the, uh, to the community in so many ways of volunteering. If you've run into some of them, 
They're excellent students. I would put them in your business and industry without batting an eye. Uh, they're good people. But this program will be open for seniors only. Not, not seniors like me. Seniors, <laughs> <laughs> seniors <laughs> in college. Um, but uh, they will be uh, selected. They'll go through an interview process, and then they'll work very closely with, with the chamber members. Well, if you've been exposed to uh, Benedictine and to its students, it, 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 leaves, it makes a real impression on you. The, the students, the, the caliber of the people at Benedictine is, is amazing. There's this thing called, I wish we had more time. Sally, we need to book an entire show about Benedictine. We've been talking. There's this thing called the Benedictine values that they take extremely seriously. This is an opportunity to have a Catholic education uh, in downtown Mesa. It's a great niche in our community. It's, it's been very successful. It's going to continue to grow and grow. As a community, we are working on ways that we can be more supportive of Benedictine and try to respond to the, uh, the, the tremendous uh, growth that is occurring out there. So thank you for all you're doing. This is just another great example of both the chamber and Benedictine doing something to help the community. Uh, we look forward to having a lot of young Benedictine people involved more in the, in the business community. Yeah. We're pleased thank to be you. here. Thank you. you, you thank you very much. Thank you. you bet. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. Good to see you.